voice diary on August 22nd, AI in education. Today topic is AI in education. I've been watching YouTube videos about AI in education, especially Stanford uh, University produced uh, about the contents and AI in education, highly education in a AI. And there are many topics and uh, panels and do that. Recently, I watched the uh, conference uh, from university named uh, same title with the AI in education. And the panel is a Korean professor and then foreign professor. They uh, presented their topic and each session as an expert of AI. Now, I also interested in AI in education, especially I'm interested in AI in learning foreign language. Using AI is very good to get a good reference and then also to communicate with that. And AI is combined with many, many solutions, especially and AI also, I have no idea about the AI or the uh, transforming and recognition uh, like this Google voice typing or text to voice, voice text, and also um, traditionally the interpretation or uh, translation is uh, all organized uh, about the learning foreign language. Because uh, when it combined and uh, it, when we learn uh, foreign languages, that means uh, we are uh, naturally and then get familiar with the language, the sound, the culture, history, and the background. So we have a purpose to learn the foreign language. There are many things. Uh, not likely traditional way the, using AI is a newly, um, newly session. So if uh, I have a question about AI, AI, how can I learn foreign language with the help of AI? AI, how can I learn foreign language with the help of AI? I think this question uh, I can get a report from the AI and the AI can recognize the AI and knowing about the question in the context in my diary. This way is a unique way to uh, cooperate with it. After I recorded my voice typing to write and then my uh, essay or something, and then, then I can get a proofread, I can get a AI answers and even I can review. And then the process of all thing is about uh, one hour, two hours. The session is a very good way to improve uh, the foreign language. And not only building vocabulary, but also getting familiarized. And this is important. And also that the way to expand our vision about uh, language. Uh, getting back to the topic, AI in education. I focus on learning foreign language, but uh, AI can give many, many things about that. Um, but uh, especially and then in my job, and then I do um, make uh, online uh, lessons with AI. By doing that, I can make my knowledge uh, and make it big and then and I can do that. Uh, so this is a very good way because uh, normally we uh, have an information about the search engine, we read the text, but not like that. It's a reported one. And then when I we ask some things, AI can report it. Uh, that is a very, very important uh, and then we are going to the library, we pick the books, and then we are checking out. We find out some information by themselves on the internet, on the library, or other sector. Even we buy some bookstore, 
to start to uh, lesson and we have a main textbook to learn when we go to school at the same. But not like this, not like the traditional way. And an AI is a different way the function is. Uh, and then an AI gives the report. And then so I can ask the AI report. I can ask the detail, AI report in detail. It means uh, a little different, you know, um, like a king or some minister. And then we have a staff, AI, and then is a functional assistant who can give the, some much more information about lots of things. Even AI beyond of the library and beyond of the bookstore, beyond of the some, and then we get the people. And then so uh, newly AI, and then it's depend, uh, dependable. And then on to learn uh, right foreign language. A good way to use AI is a good way too. And then uh, I think it's uh, doing online language exchange the same. Okay, I will stop and then go back to the ChatGPT AI.